how to use wix hover boxes hi guys welcome back today i'm going to be showing you how to use wix hover boxes that allow you to create this hover effect on your website and when somebody hover over a box it shows and you know expands so let me actually show you how you can do that it's super easy and you can simply add this hover box effect on your website in wix so let's get started first what you have to do is you will simply open up your wix.com if you have not signed up for wix you can simply go ahead and sign up with your google account and get your wix right now wix is an amazing website builder that allows you to build your own websites you can create professional websites with wix you can create your online stores portfolios blogs and more so when it comes to wix we know that wix has a lot of different tools and features for us to help us create a professional and very good looking website and today we're going to add a hover box effect on our website so once you have opened up your wix i have opened up one of my websites that i have created and i'm going to be using a simple classic wix but it's similar in wix you know editor x as well like this website is on editor x same process will go for editor x as well i'm going to be using classic wix so once you are in your manage.wix.com i'm going to click on edit site and it will take me to my site that i am creating so this is actually a, a demo website that i'm creating so don't mind the you know text and everything so uh, this is my website right now i am in the editor of wix so we simply click on this add button and it allows us to add different elements to our website then we have pages we have site design apps media my blog and our you know business tools so if you already use wix then you will have a better idea that we get all of the features this tutorial is actually beginners friendly and i'm actually showing you everything so when you click on add to site we can add different elements to our website we can add text we can add buttons, we can add decoratives, we can embed quotes, we can add social, list and more. But we want to add a box. So you will find the option of box right here. Simply click on box and then we have three box options. We have theme boxes, container boxes and hover boxes. So I'm going to click on hover and it will allow me to select from these different layouts and templates. So now it depends on you that what kind of hover box you want to go for. Let's add this one. This is like this is going to be a round one, a circle. So I'm going to select this one again to add. You simply drag and drop. So I'm going to drag this one. So I have my hover box right here. Now you can see this is regular. I can click on hover and it will be converted into a hover box and when i will simply you know hey, this is how it will be when you hover over this box it will change the image so now we need to edit our hover box right here so to add it you can see right here we have our different options what you can do is you can change the design of your box from here so this is my box option then we have theme boxes and discover more boxes option then we have animation we have hover interaction added so i'm going to click right here and it will be converted into a hover you know box then we're going to click on added interaction and it will allow us to add different settings such as i can simply go ahead and change the image right here because this is the image with the template so to change the image you simply click on this box and then it allows you to change the image you can see right here i'm gonna click on change image and now how it simply works on wix i can upload a media from my computer or i can go with you know my file that i already uploaded then we have media from wix we have shutterstock and unsplice so i'm gonna go with media from wix and let's just get an image from here so we have a lot of different images right here on wix these are completely free and you can add them to your website so for now, I'm going to go ahead and select this image right here. So simply select the image, click on choose, and this image will be added right here. So now I have changed the image. The next thing that I can do is I can actually change the design for my hover box. So I can add frames. I can change the color. I can change the background color, how it simply works, right? Or I can customize a design as well. When it comes to customizing, I can change the layout and I can add frames and anything. 
So we already have this circle right here and I'm actually liking the design so I'm not going to customize it. If you want to crop the image, you can simply click on crop and it will allow you to crop the image or you can move it. So I'm going to actually move this to a bit center. There you go and click on apply. Then we have this option right here which says filter. This allows us to add filters to our image. For now, I'm not going to add any filters. We can also add a link to our box if we want to. We can add link for a page. We can also add an anchor link, document, email, phone number and light box. So for now, I'm not going to add any link. Then we have the settings option. And in settings, again, we have adjust option, we have change option and more. This box also has a text. So we can edit the text or we can simply get rid of the text as well. So I'm going to go ahead and maybe change the text. Simply click on edit text. So I'm going to add the text which says happy. And now I can change the font, color, everything. Once you're done with all of the settings, let's say this is my hover box. This is the box that I just created. Now I can simply click right here and go to hover and it will be converted into a hover box. And when I click on play, you can see right here, I have my image right here. You can also go ahead and change the second image just like I did. You can simply go ahead and change the second image just like the first image I did. And this will simply add two images to your hover box. Or you can simply stick with one image and it will just be expanded when you will hover over it. And that is how we can simply go ahead and add a hover box. You can also convert a regular box into a hover box. You can also, you know, make it a bit smaller if you want to and place it wherever you want to on your website. The basic settings will be same as we, you know, use our Wix editor. And now I can simply go ahead and change the background color if I want to. If I want to add another hover box, I can again, you know, simply select and maybe, you know, drag another one, drop it right here. And this way I can add as many hover boxes as I want to onto my Wix website. So yeah, guys, this brings us to the end of the video. I hope that I was a big help to you. And now you know everything that you wanted to know. And don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if this tutorial was a big help to you. I tried to tell you everything about the topic and I hope that you understood everything and now you are good to go. And don't forget to uh, share this video with your friends and family members so they can also get the information they want to. Also, you can subscribe to the YouTube channel. The button will be given right down below Go ahead and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Also, hit the notification bell so every time you get notified when we post a video. So yeah, also leave a comment down below. What was your favorite part and what did you learn from this video or if you have any question. So yeah, guys, this brings us to the end of the video. I hope that I was a big help to you and now you know how to add hover boxes onto your Wix website. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to the YouTube channel.